Hello, welcome to Keith's Pi Tutorials. A real quick video today. I've just been playing around with the Raspberry Pi Sense app and I was wondering, wouldn't it be great if you could get access to the GPI opens with the hat installed? Now on first glance it looks like you've got the, the Sense hat installed and it'll be quite tricky to get access to any of the pins. But in fact, it's rather simple. So um, I'll take you through this. Before we get looking at the Sense app, I wondered how many of the GPI opens the sensor actually used. And it's got quite a lot of functions on it, so I sort of suspected it might use quite a few. Um, so I found this brilliant website. It's called pinout.xyz. And um, it's, it's really interactive and it's, it's really good to see um, how the Raspberry Pi GPI, GPIOs are used on various boards, and also what features they've got. You can see by default we've got a you know an image of the Raspberry Pi. It, it shows you all the um, the pin numbers. These are the pin numbers here, and also the GPIO numbers, the BCM numbers here. And if you click on one of them, it will give you you know more information on exactly what it does, what it's capable of using, even gives you the wiring pi pin numbers which can be very useful as well. Um, and that's the same for all of them, you can just go clicking through them. Um, gives you the different versions for the, um, the Rev1 and the um, Rev2 Raspberry Pis. But we want to look at the Sense hat, so up here there's um, a board section and I think I found the sense hat in multi. There we go, sense hat. And you can see it's only highlighted two pins here, BCM2 and BCM BCM3. These are the I squared C pins. So it appears the sense hat only uses the I squared C. And if you read the description here, that's exactly what it does, and it tells you um, all, all the I2C addresses for the various sensors. So if you wanted to, you could um, just access the sensors directly over I2C if you so wish. It turns out that sense hat libraries are, are so good, I don't think you'd want to do that anyway. But um, no, so we've got this sense hat plugged onto our Raspberry Pi, and all these GPIOs are free, and so. It just makes sense to be able to use them. So I'll just show you now how we can um, get access to them. So let's see how we can get the, the GPIO on the sense hat then. Um, it's a shame not to be able to use them since, um, amazingly enough, this only takes the two pins, the um, I squared C pins. So let's take it off. And, um, Put this on the Pi Zero here. So I found this out almost by accident. So it's got a surface mount. So this header here is surface mounted onto the circuit board. Um, and I was wondering how how they got that plastic on both sides, and they've got connection with the, with the um, circuit board there. So it's, it's soldered on the top side, you can see the solder there. So I was just playing around with this and it appears, if you're careful, this pries off. Now we want to do it carefully so we don't get any pins bent and try and get it nice and even. So that is just a standard header. So what we've got there is the circuit board. There's nothing on the back. There's just holes all the way through. You can see the holes through there. So all we need then is to get ourselves an extended header. And these pins are a bit skew with, so it's a bit hard to line them up. But with a bit of um, tweaking, and 
they should go. There you go. We've got ourselves a sense app with accessible GPIOs. And only the two I squared C pins are used, so we can now use a sense app and plug it into whatever else we'd like to do. I just, um, I'm sure lots of people know this, but um, I sort of discovered it by accident. And I, I'll be checking on sort of how many other um, hat boards you could do this with. Some of them don't have the um, surface mount on the top, so it's just they've got a header soldered on the bottom. But um, I'm sure there's a few more like this, but I just thought I'd like to share that with you. So we can plug it back on the pie. Plug it in. This is, um, just, I'm going to be um, dem demoing this um, in a later video, but let's, um, once it boots up and gets a Wi Fi connection, it will connect to my bird box, which I've already blogged about. Pull the temperature down, so it's pulling temperature from externally. Um, from things speak it will show the temperature and then it will also show the humidity and the air pressure and the humidity and air pressure are, are coming in locally off the board but the temperature is remote there you go So it's 23.9 degrees C out in my garden in the bird box. 41% humidity and 1022 millibars air pressure. So there you go, just a quick little video. Um, just something I discovered earlier in the week and I thought it was too good not to share. So um, please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you soon. Bye.